Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to route your Motorola Milestone and update to Android 2.1. Uh, so if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for the how to route the Motorola Milestone. Okay, before you begin, word of warning, this only works on the Motorola Milestone, not on the Motorola Droid. Um, they're very similar phones, but one is GSM and one is CDMA, uh, the Droid being CDMA, Motorola Milestone being GSM. Um, and the routing procedures are different. So don't use this on the Droid, just use it on the Milestone. Okay guys, to get started we need to set up ADB. Uh, you'll see we have a link right there, just click on that, it'll take you to our how to set up ADB procedure. Follow that procedure. Uh, you might have to install the drivers manually, you'll see a link for the uh, Motorola Milestone drivers there. Just follow the procedure to get all that set up. Once you've done that, you can come back to here and we can continue. Okay, now we need to download the ADB recovery uh, zip file. So you're going to click on the link here, scroll down, and the very first link you see is the one you want. So download that. Okay, so once we've downloaded the zip file, we're going to extract it somewhere. You can just right click it, hit extract all, bring up this menu here. You can just leave whatever it says and hit extract at the bottom. And that should extract it to this folder here. So now we have that, this folder inside, and these are the two files we're actually going to be using. Okay, now we're going to need to plug in the Motorola Milestone. Plug it in like that. And then we're going to pull down the top, tap that, and hit Memory Card Management and OK. Okay, so now we're going to open the extracted uh, ADB recovery file. We're going to open the NSD root, and we're going to take these two files, the uh, folder recovery and the update.zip file. We're going to highlight both of them and we're just going to drag them over to our phone's SD card. Now we're not going to put them inside any folders, we're just going to put them on the SD card itself. Okay, and then we'll let that copy. Okay, once we've transferred that stuff to the SD card on the milestone, we can unplug it, and then we can turn it off. Now we're going to turn it back on by holding down camera and power and keep holding it. So you see this exclamation point. Once you do, you can let go. Now you're going to hold down volume up and then press camera. And you should be presented with the recovery menu. Okay, once we see the recovery menu, we're going to slide open the keyboard because we need to use the D-pad. We're going to push what is right, or down in this case, and click apply SD update.zip by pushing on the gold button. And let it update the phone. Okay, once it's done, you might lose your backlight. Don't worry about it. You're going to leave it in recovery, don't do anything else, and we're just going to plug it into the USB cable. Once you do that, your computer should say that it's automatically looking for the ADB interface. Let it install that driver. Okay, now on the computer, we're going to open our command prompt by clicking on the start menu and typing CMD. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to type into the command prompt. Uh, don't worry what I'm typing here, you can just follow the written instructions on the site. Okay, at this step where I write CD uh, Android SDK slash tools, Android SDK is, SDK is the name of the folder we gave the Android SDK if you did our ADB procedure. Um, so if you didn't do our ADB procedure, you might want to go check it out and just rename your folders so that they fit ours. Um, this way it just goes a lot smoother. Or just know that whenever I type Android SDK, I'm actually just typing the folder name for the SDK. Just replace your folder name. Okay, and it's going to ask you to enter a prefix substring. Uh, we're just going to call it milestone. Awesome. 
and let it do its backup. Okay, and when it's done, it'll say the backup is successful. Uh, and you'll get a prompt again. You're going to type in reboot and hit enter. And this should reboot your phone. Okay, once the phone boots back into normal mode, after we typed reboot, we're going to keep it plugged in. And we're just going to pull down the top, USB, memory card management, click OK. Okay, so once we mount the SD card on our computer, we're going to open it and you'll see a folder called Mandroid. We're going to grab it and save it somewhere onto our computer. Uh, and this is going to be used as a backup in case we ever want to unroot or get back to the way we were before. Okay, now that we've copied our original Mandroid backup to our computer for safekeeping, we are going to go back to the site and download a backup made with the Android 2.1 ROM and root. So click on that and let that down. Okay, so once you've downloaded that, you're going to right-click it, Extract All, and then click Extract. And then we're going to open the folder, open the folder inside, and we're going to select all of these files that's in here, not the folder, the files themselves. We're going to copy them, and then we're going to go over to our SD card, Click on Android, Console, Milestone, and we're going to paste them into here. Um, once we click that, it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite files with the same name. You're going to say, do this for the next four conflicts, and then copy and replace, and let it copy. Okay, once it's done copying the files over, we're going to turn off the phone. We're also going to unplug it. Then we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and camera again. And we're going to keep holding it. Until we see the exclamation point, and then we can let go. Now we're going to hold volume up and then push power, or excuse me, push camera. And we'll be greeted with the recovery menu. We're gonna then slide open the keyboard, push down, and select apply SD card update.zip. And then close this and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's done, you're gonna plug the phone back in. Okay, now that we plug the phone back into the computer, we're going to type in our command prompt. Okay, and after you've hit enter a few times, when it asks you questions, it should begin to restore the backup. Okay, once you're done, it should say restore done. And now we can type reboot and hit enter. And the phone should reboot. Okay, once the phone boots back up, you should be on firmware 2.1. And you should also have root access and have things like super user. Okay, enjoy.